our winds go in this direction and the reds, our winds go in this direction. Now, if I'm watching this at home, I'm thinking, how do you know that? How, how, do, you, how, do, how do you see, well, what are you seeing there that, that tells you a, a broad area of rotation? So what we're looking at, Bill, is uh, the r radar's picking up something in the air. In this case, it's probably raindrops that are being wrapped around. And because it's a Doppler radar, the reason it's called Doppler radar is not just some marketing term. It uses a, a, a thing called the Doppler shift. And you probably have experienced, have you ever been to a train track and hear a train coming, it goes and the, right. the frequency of the sound changes as the train is coming towards you and away from you. Well, in the radar signature, what we're looking at, we can tell if the raindrops are blowing towards the radar or are away from the radar based on that Doppler shift. Interesting. And so that allows us to say, hey, basically right here, and I'll put that back up to explain, we'll show you that velocity data. We can tell that the radar has winds go in this direction here, whoops, let me erase that real quick. We've and let me got, just jump in here. For anybody yep. just tuning in, obviously we're in the middle of a tornado warning. It's it, Brad's been on since the top of the hour <laughs> here uh, for, for Cleveland County. This storm originated down to our southwest uh, air area and has been moving rapidly towards this area. As I said, we've been on uh, pretty much since four o'clock with this tornado warning. Brad, take it away again. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Yeah, so what I was saying is, you know, these winds are going this direction and these winds are going that direction. So you can infer some rotation there. Event, imagine I have a paper towel roll or a pencil in my hands. And if I move my hands like that, it would roll, right? It would, mm -hmm. it would create rotation. So we know right there we're getting rotation. So that's how the Doppler radar is showing us where that rotation is. Now, when we pick up debris, the radar is telling us whether or not we've got different sized particles in the air. It's one of the, the amazing things about dual pole Doppler radar is not only does it tell us if they're raindrops, we know if they're snowflakes, pieces of hail, pieces of sleet. And in these cases like this, unfortunately, we can tell if it's shingles, two by fours, leaves, because they're all not the same shape.